All right. Um, there's a young man who, because of his talent, rose to become the youngest president of the Wisconsin Fire, Fire Association in the history of the state. And during the birth of the movement, he became a, a statewide leader. I'd like you to welcome the candidate for Lieutenant Governor, Malin Mitchell. Two weeks. This sucks. 
so I don't want to be a chef. I called home, I said, Mom, Dad, I don't want to be a chef. I want to be a firefighter. They said, well, you got to stay in school for two reasons. One, because you got to start with your finish. And they said, two, you're staying at least to the end of the year because we paid for the full year. <laughs> so while I was going to chef school, I actually worked on a day at the sport bar downtown. Then I had to actually go to fire academy classes, pay for mine on my own, and do it my own. I wanted to be a firefighter because I wanted to give back to my community. My brother actually started the tradition. Both my brothers are firefighters. One's in Atlanta, Georgia. The other one's in St. Paul, Minnesota. Huh? So we got a family of so now the reason I'm running right now is because what we're seeing right now in our state is, is horrible. Now, I almost cursed, and I'm getting better at not cursing. But it's, thank you. <laughs> it's crap. I mean, it's horrible what we're seeing. And last year when they asked us to stand on the sideline as firefighters and police officers as they were going to treat everybody else so radically differently, we could have stayed out. We could have took our exemption and stood by and said nothing. They told us that only be about a week or so, and then everybody would go back home and their lives would go back to home. <laughs> so we told them. Well, they were obviously wrong about that, and they were wrong about firefighters and police officers. <laughs> so, because what, what we do is we respond to emergencies. And that's what I'm doing right now is responding to emergencies. Right. They told us last year that our state was broke, that we need shared sacrifice, right? Shared sacrifice. Right now, it seems like we sacrifice and they share the wall. <laughs> so I'm going to work hard and work hard for you. Um, three things I want to work on getting the green light here. Was I going to have 30 seconds? No, a minute. Oh, man, okay. <laughs> so we saw that 32. Uh, we saw $1.6 billion cut in education. We saw a 30% cut in tech colleges. We saw our child labor law being weak. Under the age of 18, you work more hours and more days per week. Planned Parenthood cut. 12,000 women I used to go to Planned Parenthood, not for the woman's right to choose mind you, but for just basic health care. Because they can't afford health care if they're employed. Cut. Voter ID, they call it voter registration, I call it voter suppression. So I want to help whoever our gubernatorial candidate is come back and find all these problems, but I will work on my own issues. Because right now, I don't know if anybody in the room knows what the lieutenant governor does. Some people say Lieutenant Governor's job is to wake up and check the pulse of the government. <laughs> I, think, I think it could be so much more than that. So I'm going to fight hard, fight like hell, to make sure you know what the Lieutenant Governor does. I will work on jobs. And we have a governor that's promised 250,000 jobs over the next four years, but we've got nothing. We have six months of straight job loss. Right. We need to bring business, industry, corporations to the table with community and labor and talk about real job creation. I want to talk about education. No flat, I only got two seconds. I want to talk about education. I want to talk about education because right now, we take $1.6 billion of education. He takes a 30% cut from tech college and then says it's working. And we don't have a, he says we don't have a trained workforce because we do have the jobs out there. But then takes $71 million from, from tech college system. And then I want to talk about poverty. Because we never talk about poverty and I'm as guilty as anybody else. We always talk about the middle class. And middle class wages are going down. And the middle class is under attack. But think about the people that are living below middle class wages. The people that are in these impoverished areas in our state. And I'm not just talking about Milwaukee and Madison. We have rural areas that are living in poverty. So we have this constant race to the bottom, but we got to work hard. Because we don't just live in an economy, we live in a society. And I'm going to work hard. that we all know and love, the Wisconsin I was born in, back to our state. We have the fierce urgency of now to choose community over chaos. And we got to recall Rebecca Clayfish, we have to recall Scott Walker, and get some champions in there. Thank you, brothers and sisters. God bless you.